Hello dear friends and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I met Sabana Cove in the area of Pangerang. Well, I've been to Pangerang a couple of times before but never to this place. So let me ride my bike around here and let me see what I can find. Let's begin. Okay, at the moment I'm riding on this road with no name. This road runs parallel to the Batulaya beach. As you can see, it's a beautiful day, beautiful beach to just relax for the day. No one here at the moment. As usual, the crowds only come in during the weekends. Well, I've covered this area uh, of Batulaya uh, in my one of my previous videos of Isaru. But a friend of mine told me that there is more about the unique rock formation uh, that I talk about in that video so I'm here for a revisit uh, take a closer look at it oh, ok I see a nice campsite here with the contact number in case you are interested to come camping here ok moving along trying to look for the rock formations and, ah there you go this is the campsite see beautiful I think there are some food stalls or something over there I think they are open at night it's closed now and there is the car park and trying to where is that rock form ah okay I see the rock formation right there okay let me just park my bike around this place let's find a shady spot ah okay here is good whoa it's quite an uneven road here Okay, done. Park my bike. Now I'm just gonna walk over to take a closer look at that rock formation along the beach. Just a quick look around this area. And over here is the little road that I rode along uh, parallel to the Batulaya beach just now. And it comes all the way here. Very easy to find. See the rock formation over there? Okay. Let me just uh, take a walk. Closer to the rock. Ah, okay, so you can see all the lines or the rock, the patterns that resemble uh, the sails of a ship. Okay, let me just uh, go even closer. Let's climb up this place here. Hmm, very interesting, up close. Okay, let me just walk up here. It's quite uneven ground, so if you are bringing children here, be careful. See the pattern? Oh, it has a very rough finish. Interesting. Look at that. Wow. These are all metamorphic rocks. Probably millions of years old. And uh, slowly eroded by the wind and water over time. Let me just get down here and uh, look at it from another angle. Okay, this is the interesting part. Now you see, the rocks are actually flat. Wow. You can't see it from the other angle, so you can see flat, flat pieces of rocks. And quite thick, but yeah, one slab of it here. And I think this side should be another slab of rock here. They all have these very interesting patterns on them. See, some of them are shorter, not as tall. Very interesting. I never knew about this until a friend told me about this uh, interesting site. Now I see it for myself. And just beside it is this beautiful beach where you can just bring your family here and relax for the day. How nice. Here is the car park I took 
to you about just now. So this car park here with the food stalls over there, I think they are open at night. It is closed now. Uh, many place to park your car. And then there's a rock over there, just beside the car park. Very convenient. Well, it's been a very hot day today and along my uh, way along the way to my resort I found this uh, nice looking uh, stall selling nice cold chendol so I decided to just stop here to have some chendol and look at this beautiful seaside there's an old jetty over there nice view just beside the chendol stall okay here is the chendol I ordered Nice, look at that. Let me just get some light. See, this is one of the uh, original version of chendol. I think you can add something like durian, strawberry and all that. But I decided to have the normal ones. And you get to have that chendol to this beautiful seaside view. Look at that. Uh, as you can see, it's already dark now. It's about uh, 30 to 45 minutes right from where I had my chendol just now and I just arrived at the resort reception area Sabana Cove Resort, this is it Wow, it's totally quiet now It's about 8pm uh, at the moment and the check-in area is over there Okay, now in the check-in process, very fast, easy Room 309, got my keys now, let me just walk and go look for my room. Just park my bike and this is block 3, 309. Okay, this is the block. Let's go. Climb up the stairs. The room is on the second floor. It's a long corridor here. And here's my room. 309. Okay, let me just open the door and uh, show you how it looks inside. Just tap this door, okay. Ah, okay, lights are on now. Wow, very nice and cozy room. 
spacious hmm, the room smells really good let me just turn on the aircon let me see where is it uh, okay done see the cold air blowing out from the vents over there nice just what I need okay looking around the room very nice and clean spacious smells good no smoking smells around Okay, let me just take a look outside the balcony. I think I can't see anything at the moment. It's night time now. It's very dark. Okay, let me first uh, just show you the toilets. Ah, okay, there's a little pantry here. You can uh, make your coffee and tea if you want to. Some boiling uh, kettle. You can boil some water over there. And the fridge is over here. Should you need it. And this is the toilet. Okay, everything is there, nice and clean. The shower area is behind the door here. The hair dryer, very important <laughs> for me. Okay, see they provide the shower foam and shampoo as well, some soap. Ah, they have a rain shower, nice. I'm going to use that later. Okay, just going outside the balcony here is night time so probably can't see much but I'll just show you anyway oh it's really dark 